Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of September the 24th through to the 30th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. First up, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse position, followed then by the Five of Cups reversed, paired up with Major Arcana, the Devil in the reverse position, followed then by Major Arcana, High Priestess upright, and lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Chariot in the Upright. Wow, a little bit of an intense week for you guys. We have three Major Arcana here. Okay, for your overall energy, you have that of the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. Much better energy reversed as opposed to upright when the Ten of Swords is in the upright position. This can often, uh, tens represent endings, and this can often represent the last straw. For me, the Ten of Swords in the upright this is where we've been dealing with a certain relationship certain situation could be at work could be at home could be anywhere it's just a general read but where um it's kind of like the last straw that it's the, the somebody put the last you know knife in your back so to speak and you're just like no i'm not dealing with this person anymore this situation anymore i'm done i have hit my capacity and it, when it's in the upright this is sort of like fresh freshly wounded type of energy when it's in the reverse this is healing energy so that's really good to see so for some of you perhaps last week or it could have happened whenever um you just kind of hit that 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 wall with a situation like i said could be at work could be at home could be anywhere family friends and you just sort of um said no you know what i i'm not going to do this anymore i've sort of uh, last straw type of situation but you're now healing from it and you have another healing card here uh the five of cups in the reverse position five of cups upright this is again sort of fresh loss uh disappointment this is on the emotional front now when it's in the reverse position like this we're healing from an emotional loss or upset um it you know the five of cups upright this is where we're kind of it's a little bit of the pity party where we're focusing more on what we've lost than what we still have left over um and we all do that when a situation is fresh and new when it just happened uh we can't get over things instantaneously nor is it healthy to do so you have to take your morning period and your time to you know feel bad about the situation and feel however it is you feel when it is in the reverse position however it's healing time because we can't stay in the five of cups energy in the upright position that is not healthy to keep mourning over something again and again and and staying in that energy we have to move on as, as quickly as possible when um, we've already dealt with those emotions it's time to move on from them and start the healing process and it looks like for some of you because you have two cards here representing healing so whatever has happened at Leo that could have upset you it looks like good news is you're starting to heal now uh it's paired up with major arcana the devil card in the reverse position devil card again this is energy that's much better on the reverse than upright the upright um, explanation of the devil card um, can represent you know bondage to the material and the material could be anything from um you know, uh, obsessions and uh, things that we do, like uh, obsessively shop, like uh, addictions, basically. So like addi uh, shopping, addictions, uh, gambling, that kind of thing, um, substance abuse, that kind of energy. So uh, even addiction to people. When it's in the reverse position, we're releasing that. We're no longer allowing that uh, situation to bond us. Sometimes, uh, well, a lot of times, actually, the devil card in the upright can represent that literally bondage to the material where we're sort of putting up with situations because they're financially benef beneficial to us, but really they're eating away a little bit at our soul bit by bit by bit. And when the card is in the reverse position it's like the devil no longer has a hold on us we're releasing um our attachment to the thing that was maybe keeping us bound now moving on towards the weekend of the 29th and 30th you have the energies of the high priestess in the upright position i do like this card in the upright this is where we're tapping into our intuition we're understanding because the high priestess represents hidden knowledge and um, for me, that hidden knowledge is a lot of times it's something that 
sometimes we have like in the moon card for example that's about maybe somebody being deceptive and keeping information from us however uh, with the high priestess i don't see it as that i see it more like there's uh these nobody can really give us the answers that we're seeking right now we could be at a little bit of unrest about something maybe we're trying to figure something out but we're the only ones who can give us that answer we have to tap in listen to our gut feelings listen to our intuition because there's no one out there who can actually give us the answer better than the answer we can get from ourselves so i always recommend maybe some meditation or self-analysis when this card comes up because that's who will give you the best answers for whatever it is you seek right now, Leo. And it's paired up with the last card you have here, very nice energy, is the chariot card in the upright position. Again, Major Arcana, like I said, could be a little bit of an intense week. Could be some of you are healing from a situation, but now it's there's a need to move on and to move forward. Uh, the energy is uh, of the chariot is very forward moving. It's very fast moving as well. Just don't steamroll over anyone's toes. This is a card that represents full confidence moving forward. We know which way to go. I mean, in the chariot, there we can go right or we can go left. But internally, we know because uh, there's a lot of confidence attached to this card with all the yellow in it, the solar plexus energy. This is where we know exactly where we need to go. And we're moving there quite swiftly. And we're headed right towards what? A victory, Leo. So listen to your intuition, tap into your intuition because it's going to lead you exactly where you need to go. I hope this reading helped you, Leo. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye for now.